There's no doubt the most contested race this November will be for president. But the very next race on the ballot for Texans is also getting a lot of attention. The race for U.S. Senate. We still don't know who will face off with Republican Senator John Cornyn. But one thing history has shown, defeating him won't come easy. Here's political anchor Ashley Godot. Regardless of political party. It was 2002. John Cornyn does what's right for Texas. When former Texas Supreme Court judge turned Texas Attorney General John Cornyn won his bid for the U.S. Senate. 18 years later, he's serving his third term in office and is vying for his fourth. I want to thank all of uh, all of my supporters across Texas for nominating me to be your United States Senate candidate for the Republican Party in 2020. An average of the top three political polls done by ABC News is 538 finds the race is likely to go to Cornyn. That's a drop from earlier this year when Cornyn's seat was considered solid Republican on this widely used polling scale. But his position is still stronger than leaning Republican and isn't a toss up seat. Plus, history is on Cornyn's side. The solid blue state of Texas started to shift red in the 1970s. In the 1980s, presidential candidate Ronald Reagan pushed the needle. He campaigned very hard in East Texas and told those people, they can be Reagan Democrats, be a Democrat, but come vote for Ronald Reagan. And they did, and they stayed there. In 1993, Republican Kay Bailey Hutchison ended a 150-year streak of having at least one Democrat represent Texas in the U.S. Senate when she defeated Democratic Senator Bob Kruger. And Democrats have not won a statewide election in Texas since 1994. But this doesn't mean the Senate seat is in the bag for Cornyn, thanks to something we'll call the Beto Factor. In 2018, Democratic Congressman Beto O'Rourke nearly defeated Republican Senator Ted Cruz, falling short by just 2.6 percentage points, or around 223,000 votes. As it turned out, um, just by that much, voters didn't want an alternative, but they sure considered one. And, you know, Beto O'Rourke, uh, that campaign built a question mark for the Republicans and a challenge for the Democrats. Can you repeat this turnout? A question that will go without an answer until November. Ashley Goodo, KVU News. The two Democrats hoping to disrupt the Republican hold on Texas are going head to head in a debate. And you can watch it live right here on KVU Monday at 630.